All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take this blade out of here. And we're going to just do a blade swap. I'm not going to put this blade in that box fan right there. I'm just going to take it out of here and put the blue blade in this one to see if I can get some air out of that blade. Because I'm trying to figure out, is that blade um, defected because it don't hardly have enough pitch? Or could it be just the guard on that one right there, that new one I bought, that's not made right? That's making the air restricted. It does blow a little bit better in that one. But just given how that guard is made right there also, the air is restricted. So I don't know. When I Even when I had the metal blade in there, there wasn't all that much of a strong airflow. So I'm thinking it's just how the guards are made on both of those because they're cheaply made fans. But I'm going to go ahead and put the blue one in this one and just see what it looks like. So let's uh, get the cover off this one, then we're going to do a swap. And by the way, this is part three. So here we go. All right, okay, let's get the other one out. Y'all got to forgive me if I'm taking a little bit longer than usual. I'm watching a movie also, so. Um, let's go ahead and pull this blade off, and then we'll put the blue one on and see what we got. Let's get the blade off of here. If I can get it to pull off. Blade is thick, too. Oh, there we go. All right, and once I get the blade on here, then we'll... We'll get it plugged in so we can run it. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the blue blade in this now. Let's see if I can get the blue blade off of here. And, oops. Well, I guess you could say it wouldn't be a video without a free show. Anyways, let's go ahead and put this blade in here. This on camera royal blue blade, but in person, light blue. So here we go. Sure wish it was this color in real life. What it looks like on the camera, it's a really cool royal blue, but unfortunately it's a sky blue, so that's just how it is. Anyways, here we go. Let's 
little bit too close. Let's see, pull it up just a little bit. Put it right there. Yep, should be fine. Looks like the rain down time is going to be short on this one. It's going to be short on this one because the blade is light, so. Oh, yeah, there we go. Work that blade. There we go. So it does move a lot of air. Now, that's not because it needs oil. That's because the blade is light. It is very lightweight. So that's the reason why it comes almost to a quick stop. It's not because the blade needs oil, or I'm sorry, excuse me, the motor needs oil. I'm, I'm tired, y'all forgive me. It's not because the motor needs oil. It's only because the blade on here is cheaply made and it's light. Now that other blade I pulled off, the black one, that blade is much thicker. It's much thicker and it's much heavier. That's why it has a longer spin down time. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the cover on here and I wanna see what it looks like, the cover on it, and see if, how much air it pushes through the uh, guard. Before I do that,
Okay, it turns out that the guards are not the problem. The blade is the problem because the dynamic of the blade is awful. And like I told you before, it doesn't have no pitch. And because the blades are not pitch right or made right, that's the reason why the air is restricted and it doesn't blow much air. So this blade is the problem. As you can see, the blade is not even pitched. It's just like almost straight on that shaft. On the I'm sorry, not shaft, on the blade hub. It's just awful. It's an awful blade. Real cool blue design, but uh, it's just awful. It's just not a good blade at all. No wonder. Even with that metal blade in there, it pushes a little bit more air because the metal blade has its original pitch that it's supposed to have for the high velocity band, which actually that metal blade belongs on this one right here anyway. But uh, even when I had it on that one, it moved more air. So this blade is garbage. So I'm gonna have to put it back on the original box band, but um, well, I guess you get what you pay for. Effective blade not made right by the Chinese buttholes and come to find out because it don't have the right pitch and it's not Dynamic, don't have the right dynamics, air dynamics. Barely moves in the air. And I mean, this thing was spinning fast and it still barely moved in the air. It just didn't throw the air at you. So, that's the problem. So, now what we're going to do is just put all the original blades back in here and uh, the other metal blades are going to go back into the other one. And that one's going to go back into that one. And oh well. I mean, you get what you pay for. It's in the collection. I got fans worse than that. So that's how it is. Oh, one more thing I want to try before I do that. Is I want to actually put this black blade onto that new one I bought and see if it'll move in the air. Okay, uh, what we're going to do now, and I'm going to do this in part four because this video is getting old. Getting old. I'm tired. I'm getting tired too. It's getting long, so I'm going to go ahead and stop. What we're going to do now is put this blade in that new one I bought to see if this thing will even move in the air. See if it can handle this heavier blade. So, uh, here we go.